Hello, everyone! So, Lunara was just released um, a couple hours ago, I guess, or earlier this evening, or whatever. Um, so, we're just going to do a quick playthrough video, um, kind of see what the gameplay's like, what she's all about. Uh, so, I'm just going to do a quick AI match, maybe with some other people. Hopefully, they'll put up with me, and uh, we'll just get a feel for uh, what she's like. Uh, there is a bundle with her and one of her alternate skins on the store right now. Um, because the sale is still going on, it's actually up for uh, a little over $7. So uh, if you don't mind spending money on heroes and skins, be sure to hit up that deal. Um, otherwise, she's 15000 I think. So I dropped the $7, and uh, I think it's a great deal. Uh, there's also another Wintervale deal up there right now um, with Stitches, Sylvanas, uh, Stitches, Great Father Winter skin, where he, uh, he's decked out like a Christmas tree, and Sylvanas' uh, Sugar Plum skin, where she's dressed up like a Sugar Plum fairy with candy canes and everything. So, again, winter themed, uh, still half off the store due to the uh, extended Black Friday sale. So, uh, we are going to get right to it. Um, let's see if we want to do the Warden skin. So this is the Warden skin. Her standard skin. So Lunara's uh, another ranged assassin that Blizzard's released. Um, she does a lot of uh, damage over time with poisons. So Noxious Bloom... Uh, you throw toxic pollen in an area that explodes after a half second. Crippling spores. Um, enemies currently afflicted by nature's toxin have its duration increased by three seconds and are slowed uh, for three seconds. Uh, and then she can summon a wisp that you send to an area to scout. Uh, so it's sort of like a, like a sentry drone. Um, gives a little bit of vision, different than... Uh, to Rhonda. Um, basic attacks and damaging abilities poison the target. And then her heroics are Thornwood Vine. Uh, it holds three charges. You just send a quick burst of vines uh, that deal damage to all enemies in a line and apply the poison. Or Leaping Strike, which is uh, perhaps the most exciting ability that we saw at BlizzCon, where you do this enormous leap over an enemy, uh, slowing them by 80% and attacking. This is two charges. You just you cover a ton of ground with this ability. It costs 50 mana, so um, yeah. The hunt is on. So we're just gonna do base skin, I think, and uh, hopefully the queue won't be too too bad. Blizzard was saying that there were uh, some issues with getting games started, so hopefully we don't run into any of those. She also has a weird movement gait. Nice. Where uh, she always kind of moves around at, move at mounted speed, um, but like hops. So it's sort of like an inconsistent uh, movement rate. So let's see. Jack Fate Burn. O one five seven H seven elude abides Tamamo no me. Okay. All level forty people, so probably people doing their dailies. Not a big deal. Prepare yourselves for battle. Okay, so we're going to pick Nature's Perspective, which Nature's Toxin reveals enemies for its duration. So give us a little bit of vision. Going strong. So as you can see, she kind of moves the around, bounds around. Ten seconds. Five, I wonder. Four. Three, two, one. 
Nature reclaims all. <laughs> Spawn that little guy, give us some vision there. We'll see who comes up. So Fala. Nature reclaims all. It's only what you deserved. And so there's little icons to indicate uh, For the wilds. how many stacks of poison exist on there. Where's the excitement? Looks like Fowler ran away. Oh no! In your heart. Call upon it. The first shrine will be active soon. Steal yourselves, heroes. I am eternal. It is done. Activate the shrine, defeat its guardians, and the punisher will be ours. I feel stronger already. Well? Such daring! Well? Ah. Gotta get used to the small health pool. But that's why we pick AI. I am eternal. Punisher, Let's fire go. mortars upon the demon's forces. Mortar Punisher, nice. Nice, nice. Well, double kill. So it looks like our uh before the enemy. Here we go. Crippling Spores increases your basic attack damage of your next four basic attacks by 50%. So that's kind of a big deal. Where's the excitement? Better hit up a healing fountain ASAP. Nature reaches all. So yeah, as you can see, we move kind of weird. Um, let's see, where's a good place to put? I will renew these lands. Let's let's put a wisp here. Reclaims all. A shrine gathers power. Prepare to activate it. 
Where's the excitement? Oh man, that looks bad. Activate the shrine. The Do not let our enemy claim the Punisher's power. Uh, leaping Strike, because uh, it gives us a whole bunch of mobility, allows us to get out of danger quickly, which uh, Lunara has a very, very small health pool, For the so. wild. Getting out of there quickly is a priority. Yeah. A frozen Punisher has joined us in battle, mortals. Think again before you So giant killer because giant killer. Um, let's see. Where's the excitement? Shrine's Guardians, and let loose the Punisher upon our foe. Enemies, double kill. I seek the enemies of the force. I will 
A tree falls, so a seed may grow. Yeah, so... Just gotta play carefully. Um, at a later talent, I'm gonna be able to use uh, Leaping Strike over allies. Um, and instead of regaining a charge over 20 seconds, it'll regain all charges over 20 seconds. Um, so that'll be the next big uh, power level, or power spike. Um, I think that's at level 20, though, so we still got a ways. I don't think this game's gonna last until level 20. I am eternal. Um, let's see. A I hear the call of Kalimdor. I almost wonder if we just push core. I will renew these lands. Yeah, it looks like we're just gonna push core. Uh, we're just playing against AI. Go so. and claim the shrine. Show its guardians your resolve. Enemy slain. Fresh food for the plants. There we go. So... <laughs> so yeah, they're doing a little Winter Veil promotion where everybody gets a uh, temporary Winter Veil Treasure Goblin mount. Um, so that'll be something a little fun. Sadly, uh, Lunara doesn't get mounts, but what are you going to do? So, hope you enjoyed uh, that sort of brief look at Lunara. Um, looking forward to using her a lot more. Uh, I, I kind of favor low HP, kind of ranged assassin type characters. Um, I main as Taronda, so uh, kind of the same uh, sort of thing. You gotta play a little uh, conservatively just because of that low health, health pool. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more like them, uh, be sure to subscribe. We also do comics, as well as uh, just general artwork, illustrations, uh, a little bit of freelance design, so check us out over at 8bitadventures.com, um, and from there you can also find some game reviews that we do, uh, just little articles and whatnot, uh, just to keep up to date. So, thank you, have fun, and good night! <laughs>